Welcome again. Uh, in this video, I will talk about uh, more details about Oracle Cloud Schedule Processes. As you know, that schedule process to run either a standard report or custom or a standard processes like <coughs> create accounting, uh, transfer journal to GLs, create multi period accounting journals. Uh, uh, if you create a custom job set, job definitions, whatever, you can run it through schedule processes. First of all, what is the journal or what is the, the job rules required to access schedule processes? There are two rules, either employee or content worker. You have to assign these rules to the user. As you know that in Blui you can also custom the standard rule in Blui. You can customize it to restrict specific uh, rules or, or job rules or whatever and then assign it to users to give them access to schedule processes through tools or content worker or customize one. Second, what job rule will allow a single vision user to view all ESS schedule process jobs? You, you also have the option or to create custom job rules and assign it to specific users. These rules will allow them to view all ESS schedule processes or jobs either running, either uh, stuck, either uh, ending with warning. Also, they can check the log files to check what are the problems for all of these stocks, ASS jobs or this uh, schedule process, which is ends with warning or error, whatever. To customize these job rules, you have to, as you see here, to create abstract rule, to give name, rule code, rule category will be a common as abstract rules. In description, you can write whatever you want. That, for example, here this allow users to see all ESS jobs. Then you can navigate to the rule hierarchy, search for ESS monitor rules, and press on add rule membership button to assign this rule membership to this abstract rule. Then you can, in the users tab, you can add whatever the user you want. You can, after that, run import user and rule application security data. Then once completed, just log out, log in again with the users, which was granted access to this rule. <coughs> Sorry. So to verify if the user is able to see all ESS jobs in tools schedule processes as you see here. This is also another rules to allow the users if you have a rule, if you have a users or employee with a job only to track like a DBA to track all ESS job schedules to check the status, whatever is stuck, whatever warning, whatever is in this with. Uh, with whatever in this way is error, whatever is uh, waiting, which is scheduled, which is not, blah, blah, blah. The other things here for the schedule process, how to schedule. After to schedule, have to, how to cancel the, this schedule process. As you know that in some organizations or all, and this is case I already faced, that they need to schedule for example create accounting i have a ledger i have a 10 legal entity i have 10 business units and they need to create accounting every for example every one hour every 10 hour uh, it's daily whatever automatically make a create accounting and transfer these accounting entries to the gl so in this case you have to make a schedule for this uh, ESS job, whatever for create accounting, whatever for transfer journal to GL, whatever the ESS jobs names. 
as I told you in my case that for example for create account let me get into application I am here in application I just go to tools as you see here scheduled processes this is the search area you can search by name process ID status we will also talk about later about this status you can also search by submitted by whom you can put your username username whatever you can also set submission date uh, notes uh, you can also make this is for uh, cancelled uh, cancelable processes only last 12 hours blah 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 for here you can schedule a new process for example I will put for example create accounting we will talk about later about this job set for account for example create accounting just click on it create some leisure journal entries and here you can find process options this is the language what about the advanced just I will select a ledger for example whatever is required field I have to select it first then I will click on advanced this advanced there is one schedule here schedule here as soon as possible like this is for one time whatever you run it without any schedule it's like as soon as possible but else the other option is using a schedule using schedules you have select the options it's once it's hourly after as I told you before after one hour after every 30 minutes every one hour every two hours whatever it's daily one time by day by the end of the day it's weekly monthly yearly user defined use a saved schedule this is like before in e-business that the same options frequency options you can select whatever is matching with your business requirement for example if I select hourly it will ask you ask you after what you can select here zero for example and here after 30 minutes every 30 minutes this schedule will be running or after every sorry four hours <coughs> every 10 hours or daily daily means that it will be run it one time daily and this is for example by the end of uh, the day work or whatever 12 a.m whatever your business requirement after that you whatever you option you selected for example i will put it daily and i will keep started it for example after three minutes or four minutes and the end date this is the option here that i can put the end date uh, after five years after six years after uh, uh, by the end of these years this is the option here that you can put end date any end date for example I can put for example the end of October this is just for example okay after that you can submit so here before run it as, a, as soon as possible you have the option is a schedule using schedule what frequency you want what is the day what is the hour or minutes or daily or whatever what is the start date end date of this schedule after that you can click submit okay there is one process i can take it copy you can also search it but here by the same process id you will find here wait wait means it's scheduled because before uh, later we will know how to search or how to got all the schedules ESS jobs or schedule proceeds jobs or whatever how to cancel it also as you see here that you can click on it you can cancel process that you need to cancel it or you can also again adjustment to uh, for example change it from daily to hourly or from minutes to daily or to monthly or to 
whatever you want the options of changing so this is the first one is how to schedule specific process here how to search that there are a lot of status we will talk about later but here also you can find for example uh, wait waiting uh, scheduled hold paused All of these status it means that for example if I click search it will give me all of the status in wait and warning this warning is not with us either wait or schedule ended or whatever to search for all after that you can make download result as I extract that let's get into or come back to the slides here how to as I told you that you can search by weight again you can also come back and here selected whatever it's in weight as I told you to cancel here is our cancer or you can come here and make a cancel process schedule a new process or whatever as you see here you can also have edit process either it's state it's status changed or whatever let me apply on this here edit schedule you can add a time change frequency as I told you that you can change it from daily to hourly from daily to monthly blah 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 or you cancel instead of edited you can come here and make it cancelled cancel process edit schedules so this is a process of how to edit how to cancel the schedule processes you can also remove time you can add a time you can change frequency as I told you here how to view and extract e either by search area that come here for schedule process search by status the status we have only three status to search by it as you see here the set in one two three either wait ready running wait and ready wait this is the first status of the scheduled process the next is ready after that is running or you can write as uh, a query in for example bi publisher this is a query i will put it also in the description of this video you can write this uh, query in the bi publisher or whatever or you can ask uh, the technical team to write this to extract all of the scheduled ESS jobs or scheduled processes and we have a lot of state only wait and ready and running it's showing us the scheduled processes what are all the scheduled process status we have a lot of status here blocked cancelled cancelling completed error let's talk about brief of some of them as you see here what is a blocked the job is blocked by one or more incompatible job requests at least one other running process incompatible with and currently blocking your process what is a cancel the job request was cancelled the job or the process was cancelled you cannot restart it but you can what resubmit it again Cancelling has been cancelled and is awaiting acknowledgement. This process is currently moving to the cancelled status. What about completed? Job request has been completed. What about error? Is completed but by error, with error. So in this case, you can have to check the log file or the DBA to check the log file to check the error. And again, once you resolve the error, you can resubmit it again from the beginning. Error auto retry. This job request has run resulted an error and is eligible for automatic retry error manual recovery job requires manual intervention to be retired or transition to a terminal state what is expired job request expired before it could be processed what is finished job request and all child job request has finished hold job has been explicitly held what is the paused it's paused bending validation has been submitted the request is has been submitted but not have been validated 
what is ready also job request has been dispatched and is waiting processing running job request is running schedule in the last submission in schedule has happened for process that either process set or process that causes other process to automatically run and succeeded has run completely successfully validation error submitted but validation has failed wait the job is wait warning in this ways warning so this is the status this is the meaning this is the more information and here also you can follow up the action required some of them no need action some of them need action some of them you have to re resubmit it again some of them you can pause you can start and so on what else we have we have another definition here as a job definition and the job set job set that if you are going for example to customize some of job sets some of job definitions for example if i am making now integration with a bank for example or with a third part systems and this third part system needs some ESS jobs but this ESS jobs is not a standard so in this case me or the technical team needs to define these ESS jobs as a job set or job definitions and included them in the scheduled process to allow the users to run this process the advanced option is here that you can also make them as a parallel or a serial if you have a lot of job definition or if you have a lot of job set you can make it in a group like a job set groups and run it as a serial or parallel serial means that you will put for example two or three uh, schedules this is the first one this is the second one this is the third one and it tells the system to run it in a serial once the first one is finished system automatically will run the second one after second one will finish it will go to the third one but if for example the first one is end with error the system will not continue to running or to continues to running the others either job set or ess jobs as you see here schedule process are used based on job to process data and to provide report output each job requires a job definition job definition contain metadata about the job and the option available to the users list of value sources determine where a list of values for the parameter in a job definitions come from and what the specific values are what is the job set collection of a several jobs in a single process set that the user submit instead of running separate jobs as I told you that for example these integrations need first of thing that uh, one job or one ESS uh, job schedule process to uh, collect the data from this third party the second job set or the second schedule process to uh, insert this data in Oracle cloud tables or formers or whatever the third uh, job set or the third job definitions is to import or and uh, make validations or whatever to show this data in ui or the user interface for users to again check all of this imported data from the third party so in this case you will create a job sorts uh, sorry a job sets the first one to uh, return or to bring the data from this third party system the second one to make a validation third one to import this data in our oracle cloud tables and this is technically wise that you have to set with the technical team to uh, customize it and to build it but this is the concept of the job set and the job definitions that you can make a serial and a parallel a lot of job sets and uh, also make a schedule for them so the system every time will run them in a serial or in a parallel uh, depends on whatever you implemented as you see here benefits of jo job set job set helps customize your needs where seeded functionality is not there listen user intervention enables job dependency and enables parallel job execution for example here 
There are three various job set or tasks. When you go to uh, schedule or set up and maintenance, you can search by um, uh, manage enterprise schedule for financial supply chain, manage enterprise schedule for human capital, and for customer relationship management and related application. Also available from setup and maintenance work area, you can search by one of these three enterprise schedule job tasks. For example, if you are going to create a one for financial supply chain, you have to select this. If you are going to customize one for human capital, select human capital and customer relationship management. In manage schedule, you can make the, there are three or four tabs. Here, the manage job definitions and here manage job set. As I told you that for job definition tab, you can create which process that, for example, I told you process A it to uh, return the data from the third party. The process B, it will be make validation. The process C will be make import the data. As you, as you see here that the name, name of the job definition, what is the uh, display name? This is the name of the job definition as available to users while submitting a schedule process. What about the bus? The bus here is the full directory bus where the job definition is saved. What is the application name? The application for which the job definition belong to, like for example here application tool kit for example, another example here HCM ESS, whatever. And here, what is the job type that this is the job type, the name of the job that the job definition is based on. PIB job type, job that runs as Oracle Analytic Publisher Rebors. If create a brand new job definition, not by duplicate an existing one, the only job type can use is PIB job type as you see here. After you define, for, as I told you, in job definition, process A, process B, process C, whatever the job, uh, the processes, how many processes you have, you can then go to manage job set. Manage job sets to include all of these processes in this job set. Job set like uh, a group of job definitions. And in these job sets, you will tell the systems that you have to run these processes for example, in parallel or these job definitions in parallel or in serials. As you see here, you have to provide a name with alpha uh, numeric characters. Uh, a job set name cannot be or cannot have a space or any special character. They also does a display name, display the name or provide the names that the users see while submitting schedule process. And description to provide more information about the job sets. And what is the package? Specify the bus where you want to save the job set. And again, this is more technically, uh, and the technical people will know this example for package and here for the path, uh, job type, uh, job name, path. They will know these things very well. Then you can go to uh, job set steps to add your job definition. As you see here, we have serial, we have parallel. For example, for ser serial and parallel, serial, as you know, that the jobs are executed in a sequence, one after the other. If you select the parallel, the jobs are executed in parallel at a time. Either serial or parallel type can be chosen for jobs processing. Again, we define here for process A, B, C. After that, in job set, we will tell the system that for we will follow serial. So for the first one, we will add process A. We can come back to add process B and the process C and blah, blah, blah. As you see here, step one for the step. This is step one will be process A. This is the step one. The same, we will do it for the step two and step three. Step two is will be process B, step three will be process C, and so on. When you try to run or the, to run this schedule process, when you make a schedule new process here, instead of select a job, you will select a job set. 
So this job set, once you run it either manually or make it schedule, the system what will do, it will create or it will run all of this job in whatever you put it here, either one, two, three, four, it will run it for serial. Once the first one is uh, created, it will go to the second, it will go to third, blah, blah, blah. Here. This the shop set selected and start to enter the parameters for each of your job definition for process A, B, C, blah, 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 and make either schedule or run it as soon as possible. As you see here, proceed step one, step two, enter for step one the parameters for the step two parameters, and either go to schedule here to make the schedule for this job set or submit it as soon as possible. Uh, how to run or the job set that once you create these job definitions and create the job set, when you create a job set, a privilege with the same name as the job set is automatically created with a run prefix. For example, for a job set named export apps data, which is display name export application data, the privilege code is what run underscore export apps data. This privilege need to be what assigned to other users if any user is not able to view or submit the custom ESS job set. Let me uh, show you one example we have already created but let me log out from this system and log in in another system so here i log in to another system i just uh, go to login by my user setup and maintenance and go to global search to search by job set as i told you we have a, a three one for customer relationship one for supply chain, one for human and the capital. I think we created for finance. We customized with the technical team one for uh, finance uh, applications. And here we can search by manage job set. We have it is this one. So I can edit it here. As I told you, one, two, three. Either error or warning, what the system will do will make a stop. What other options? Step one, bold data. Again, if this is complete uh, successfully, it go to, because we selected here a serial, it go to for the, the, the another one. Also, if the warning or error, please stop and don't continue. What about the third one? Also stop and click. You can also click here. You can select it and make edit. That as I told you, what is the step one? What is the job? What is the package? What is the second one? The same and the third one. And this is the display name. If I go to now to monitor and the process, I can find this job set there to run it either uh, manually or make a schedule for this one. I hope now to uh, get uh, overview of uh, schedule process, what is the rules, how to run it, how to schedule it, how to uh, check the schedule ESS jobs, what is the status, uh, what is the job set, what is the job definitions, and this is, uh, I hope if you have any questions, uh, just mention it in uh, the description or in the comments for these videos. Thanks for watching.